five or four, one of them. It's we did we did okay. We did pretty good. So this is my team at the minute. It's 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 quite good, but we do need a new centre back, maybe a new left back because Lewis he's good, but I could be getting better. Same with Gilmore, he's good, but there's better centre mids to get, and possibly even a new goalkeeper because Lunin is good, but it's just so many better goalkeepers to buy out there for. For a good about a um, good amount of money, but onto the standings, we came third, which is actually really good for Leeds and my team. We've got automatic Champions League next season, which is amazing. Who got relegated? Brighton, Sheffield, and West Ham. Okay, West Ham going down to the Championship. We did lose the Community Shield on penalties to City. I think it's the yeah, FA Cup. We did win against Arsenal 3-1, which is always a nice always a nice result when you win against Arsenal. I think the Carabao Cup, I, yeah, I did not make it to the final. Where did I make it to? Semi-final. I got knocked out by Manchester United. A bit annoying, but Carabao Cup is not the most important cup in the world. Champions Trophy, pre-season tournament, doesn't matter too much, but we came runners-up, which is okay. We didn't uh, play in the Super Cup. Le Leverkusen. So, okay. They beat Bayern. Uh, they beat Real Madrid. And they beat PSG. But Barcelona took them down in the final. Hats off to Leverkusen. That was a good season from them. And in the Europa League final, we did lose on penalties to Milan. We, we did go on quite a good run. We won against Spurs, won against Monaco, we won against Torino, and who else? Uh, Bordeaux, which is always good. We won 6-1, but we did get to the final. We did lose it, but at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. But overall, the season did go pretty well. Need some new signings. I'll show the stats. I... I have already like recorded this like twice already, but it's just been corrupt. It's been corrupted twice, so this is always always fun. I, I will need to do contracts. I'll actually do one now for this guy. Actually, I'll do another one for this guy. <laughs> I will do more, but I won't bore them with you now. Actually, I might. <laughs> Okay, maybe not. Okay, these people are leaving. Cool. Let's keep Lee and Cooper. Okay, these people... Okay, I don't want to bore you with those. Anyway, let's go to the important thing, the stats. Jonathan David with 43 goals. This guy is honestly amazing. He's one of the best players I've used in this game, full stop. Same with Moise Keane. How, how have you said his name? I don't know. Some of the high scorers, Danny Olmo, 91 rated, 12 goals. is not the best, but it could be worse. He's got 16 assists, which is one of the highest, which is pretty good. And then who went up the most ratings this season? Well, Model Tan and David. Nicholas Bow, but... He's 60 rated. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else I could show you. I do have some money left. And I have a lot of profit. So hopefully next season I do get a lot of money. Let's see who's in my transfer hub if there is any. Yeah, so Tonali, which would be a good uh, signing for Gilmore. Skrinia, always a good signing. Joshua Kimmich, he's 29. He's getting on, so I think I'm going to remove him. And Nuno Tavares is also left back you can't go wrong with him my favorite left back that's i could also get some Ooh, nicholas pepe would be good but i do have danny olmo so there's not much point in me going for a new center mid uh, i mean right wing slash cam i'll definitely be needing a new goalkeeper lunin's good but 
There's Donnarumma, there's Lafont, there's Onana, Kepa. There's, there's many, 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 many better goalkeepers I could use. But other than that, I think that's the season overview done. This is a this is an extremely short video, but I did record like a 40 minute long video of me simming from like here. Yeah, I just recently played Monaco. And I started the recording, did, did all of this, simmed all of this, played the Europa League, played the FA Cup, ended it, and it went, and the recording went corrupt, so I couldn't upload it. So it's a bit annoying, but at least now I can just do this and show you how everything went. But I don't know if I should upload one season as a video, like a an hour or two hours long video, or, or, or I should just get back good get good at editing and edit it down to the most important bits like oh who I've signed in the summer show a little bit of the results then go straight to winter slash January and I'll just I'll just show you like each of the Champions League games kind of like Jared HD because I've took like huge inspiration from him That's, he's one of the reasons I started posting FIFA on my TikTok like four months ago possibly even more now actually Maybe even six, but definitely I'm I'm looking forward to uploading a lot of FIFA on this channel. So much FIFA. Hopefully daily, but a season does take quite a while. So, and I do have other games to play, which I might be uploading as well, like Minecraft, Sea of Thieves, possibly other games when they come out or if they're popular, or if anybody else wants to see another game that I have then I'll play them and record them. Might as well. But other than that, I think that's the season overview fully complete. And season 2024, I think, complete, yes. So thank you all so much for watching this short video. Every other FIFA video will be much longer. But thank you all for watching this video. And please leave suggestions on what centre back I should buy. Should I buy Scrinia? Should I buy a different centre back? Or just just comment anything. I don't really mind what you comment. As long as it's not like racist or anything. It's fine. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.